We're gonna quickly run through how to send an invoice through Xero with Cresco, and then how does that look for your payer when they're going through the payment flow. So it's super easy, once you set up your Cresco account with Xero, all you need to do is raise your invoices as you usually would. All you need to do is then click approve, and then at the top on the invoice, you'll see uh, an online payment section. So if you already had a different online payment option, they would show up here and it's something that you're very used to. You can switch quite easily between the two, but as you can see, Cresco will appear. Email that directly to the client, so no difference there. They'll just have the online invoice link, but they'll also have a pay now button. The client will receive an email, something that look like this. So as you can see, it is coming from the company name and you've got, you'll be presented with a pay now button, but also the view invoice online. So either or, if they click on both, they'll be presented with the invoice and then go straight out to the checkout solution. So here, because I'm viewing the invoice online, if you had your bank details, they would show up here at the bottom or they can click on the pay online. So as soon as they click out that, they'll be presented to the Cresco checkout screen. So as you can see here, we're just recapping all the information that was on the zero invoice. So we've got paying Ralph Rogge or company XYZ, the amount that was on the invoice, and then the reference of that, and then your details. I then click confirm, I choose the account that I want to pay from, so in my case, Revolut. And then a couple of options here. So you can either scan the QR code to then continue on your uh, mobile phone, that would basically just do a face ID um, or a fingerprint ID and authorize the payment, or if I'm on desktop, I can log in directly here. So what I'll do is I'll just do it through the desktop here. So depending on the bank, you'll have various authentication levels. Here, I'll just skip this process, just to authorize. So once that's been authorized, as you can see, we are in the banking website, so super important to note, we don't see any of these details at all. All we've done is push the information of who we're paying and how much to your account, and then we're gonna be charging this account here. Do I authorize that? Yes. That payment will now leave my Revolut account straight away and credit the nationwide account, which is the zero account, instantly. So the network will allow us to process up to a million. Most bank accounts will probably cap you about 30, 40,000 pounds, but that will be transferred instantly most it could take is probably about 20 minutes. If we were to go back into the zero invoice, it's a waiting payment, but if I refresh that screen, it will now be marked as paid. The amount due is put as zero, and if we were to go into the reconciliation screen and refresh that bank feed, the transaction and the payment will show up automatically and be ready to reconcile and marked in green.